on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, I'm my brother up in the bow of our Mercury powered CV390. We are outside a marathon wreck fishing. Got an early start this morning, as you can see, I like to get out here bright and early to get that sunrise bite. Goal for today is to fish a variety of different wrecks all outside uh, the area here, outside the reef. We're gonna bounce around and Oh, I don't know, probably 170 on the shallowest area, all the way out to probably 225, depending on exactly what wrecks we fish. And the hope is to encounter, you know, really who knows what, certainly some mutton snappers, but there's a lot of other possibilities. There's a lot of great game fish that roam these structures, African pompano, cobias, kingfish, blackfin tuna. I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's really, a uh, you know, kind of a hit or miss. I mean, even though you can have a target species in mind, you've got to be prepared for everything. We're going to fish a combination of both live baits, live pinfish, as well as doing some jig fishing. You guys know I'm a big fan of jig fishing. And sometimes they eat the metal and sometimes they eat the meat. So it's really a good idea to have both bases covered. Middle of the winter, or I don't want to say middle of the winter, but here it is December, okay? Water temperatures have dropped, transitional period, a lot of different stuff going on down here in the Keys. It's really like a winter wonderland right now for fishing. The reef fishing has been pretty hot, especially on days when it's been a little windy and a little bumpy. But this wreck fishing is really special. It's something that I really, really enjoy because of the possibilities. You just never know what you might hook. But I gotta tell you, it's not as easy as some people may think. You can't just come out here, think you're gonna find all of these structures, all of these wrecks, and just load up on giant fish drop after drop. Absolutely not, it's a science. You've gotta be really well prepared. You've gotta be willing to potentially lose some sleep to get out here early, get that dawn bite. And you've gotta be persistent because some days it's gonna pay off, other days it's nice. not. You're gonna encounter frustration. You're gonna lose fish. You're gonna be dealing with sharks, which is, oh God, the biggest thorn in my butt. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, like I said, it can be incredibly rewarding with some really, really quality fish. So stick around. We just got to our first drop here, just dropped our first baits. I'm gonna set this one up and start doing a little bit of jig fishing as well. And hopefully we connect, so stick around. All right, the rig that I'm fishing, a live pinfish, 7-0 VMC inline tournament circle hook. I go through both lips just like that so that circle hook is fully exposed. Beautiful pinfish, throw them out there. I've got about a 35 to 40 foot diamond presentation, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm gonna put the rod in the rod holder, just feed that out. Get that 40 feet out. Could be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, but 40 feet's a good, uh, good measurement. And then you can see right on my braid, and by the way, I've got that leader connected to the braid with a tiny little Alberto knot. Real small, real streamlined, no little tag ends, very, very clean. Connected to 30 pound diamond braid, about a foot up on the diamond braid. I've created a dropper loop. Okay, and as long as you go around enough times and do a proper dropper loop, you're not going to weaken the strength of that braid, okay? From there, got a 10 ounce bank sinker 
on a short trace of heavy line, 80 or 100 pound, small little snap up at the top. Put that right on the loop. This way I can remove that. If I'm fishing solo or you know either of us, you can remove the lead and fight the fish all the way to the boat. Flip that out all the way to the bottom, hit the bottom, crank it a couple cranks off the bottom so the lead's not bouncing on the bottom. Put the rod in the rod holder, locked up. Wait for it to double over while you jig with the second rod. Maximize every minute that you're on top of that structure. And I just, I can't stress enough these, these mutton snappers and these big fish on these wrecks, they will just clean your clock with any weak link. They'll find it. So make sure you have no frays, make sure that that top, you know, braid, that diamond braid is fresh and just so important that all your connections are perfect. That's it, so that bait's set. Then you're gonna grab a Mobster 250 right there. You guys know that's my favorite jig. That's that Mobster 250 and the silver glow. Everything eats it and then we'll work that. So my brother up in the bow is doing the same. So between us, we're fishing four baits. We're fishing two live baits, two jigs. And you know, even if we wanted to take it to another level, we could each fish a flat line as well. So this way we are really covering a lot of the water columns. So you don't need a lot of people. You just have to really have a system in place, you know, and a good line of communication. And of course, constantly helping each other. And that's it. Got on top of this spot, gonna drift across it and see if anybody's home. On the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. Aqua Traction Marine Flooring outperforms the competition, enhancing the comfort, appearance, and fishability of any boat. Competitors use open cell foam, prone to staining. Our durable closed cell foam is 100% stain resistant and withstands the harshest marine environments. We guarantee it. Precise designs and dependable adhesive ensure your custom floor will exceed your expectations with many seasons of trouble-free use. Contact our preferred dealer for a free quote and discover the difference. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, baby. He just crushed it. I'm gonna come up and your jig's out, right? Yes. All right, I'm gonna get that up and out of the way. Now that was right on the bottom right of the on pinfish, the huh? Yeah, he just stopped running. <laughs> you know, the sharks, this is one of the big problems that we have down here on these wrecks are sharks but they tend to love your mutton snappers, <laughs> right? They yes. tend to eat the muttons. They don't eat the cobias, the African pompanos, the tunas, I mean, they do in other places. But when it comes to wreck fishing down here in the Keys, the mutton snapper is a bullseye for the sharks. As soon as you hook a mutton, they're on it like crazy. So it's very, very rewarding to land a big mutton and very frustrating when it gets sharked. And once you get up to that lead, I'll take the lead off for you. And this is even something you can do, you know, the way that we have our outfits rigged with the lead, 
hanging on a loop. You could even do this yourself, you know? When you're fighting a fish, put the rod in the rod holder and take the lead right off the loop. Really simple. It's not a two-man job, but if you've got another guy that can help you with it, why not take advantage of it? Strong fish. Really strong fish. Yep. Let's walk down a little bit. Yep, yep, come on down. And again, this is, I can't stress why it's so important to try and cover the bases and fish to meat, fish to metal. You know, we're doing it here and some days you're gonna get the bites on the jigs, some days you're gonna get the bites on the, on the bait. But by covering both of the bases, you're really lining yourself up for success. You know, these wrecks will produce all year long. Bottom fishing here in the Keys is something you can do all year long. But this wintertime bite, I'm telling you, it's something really special. A lot of opportunity for some trophy fish. You know, beautiful fish that you may not catch any other time of the year. And it's not only out here in these deeper spots, it's also on some of those shallower spots, the patch reefs, which again, we may end up fishing there. I don't know, you know, we're ready for it. We've got the chum, we've got the bait. We'll have to see how it all comes together. Take your yeah, time. Clear. Is that him out there? That's him right there. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Yeah, and this rigging station, want to talk to you in detail about the outfit that we're primarily fishing here. We're wreck fishing off of Marathon, Florida Keys. Okay, I'm fishing an eight foot chaos uh, conventional outfit. This rod is rated for 30 to 50 pound line. May seem a little heavy, but remember, you're targeting big quality fish out here on these wrecks. Now the model is a KC with SIC guides. KC standing for it's a composite rod, fiberglass and graphite. So you have both sensitivity and strength SIC guides to withstand the abuse of that braid. The rod is matched to a Daiwa Saltiga 35HA loaded with 30 pound diamond braid. It's really that simple. Star drag, super smooth drag, plenty of line capacity, single speed reel, it's all that you need. Incredibly lightweight outfit, but plenty of power. End of the leader, about 40 feet, a diamond presentation, 40 pound fluorocarbon connected to the braid with an Alberto knot. We finish it all off with a 7.0 VMC inline tournament circle hook number 7385. It's a perfect hook for these mutton snappers and all these other quality fish that we're catching on the wreck. Anywhere from a 10 to a 16 ounce bank sinker hanging off a dropper loop right where that braid connects to the fluorocarbon leader. And that's it, you're all set. It's simple, but it's done right. We're constantly checking it for frays and, and any abrasion. And don't be afraid to change that rig, you know, or to cut off a couple feet of line because any weak link, these big fish are gonna exploit and you're gonna lose. Let's walk back there. Yep. It's an African. Giant African pompano. Giant. Woo! Giant. Nice. A little closer. You got right. him, brother. <laughs> Done. Woo! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's... Nice, dude. That thing beat me up. Yeah, he did. That thing beat me up. There. Wow. All right. Uh. Woo! All right. What All a right. giant. Let's Look go. at that. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Solid fish. Thick. He just gets Beautiful sideways fish. and forget it. Look at that mouth right there. That thing just gobbled up that pinfish, just ate it up, look at that. Fiberglass. They use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors. With industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates, not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box, or freezer for every boat.
Dependable Terminal Tackle. It's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. You know, real important that you pay attention to everything that's going on. You know, I'm looking at my bait rod. I'm constantly staring at that tip. I've got the rod and a rod holder locked up with a circle hook with a live pinfish. And I've got the weight a few cranks off the bottom. I don't want that sinker bouncing on the bottom. That'll tend to spook any muttons that are down there. Nice long leader, about 50 feet. But I'm constantly looking at that tip just you know, really trying to detect any subtle strike, but usually the, the mutton bites are not subtle. They'll just rattle, just double over. At the same time, over my left shoulder here, I'm constantly looking at my Furunos, paying close attention to our drift, the direction, the speed, where we are in relation to the structure, how fast we're moving, depth of water. I'm looking at my PBG, my personal bathymetric generator. And at the same time, also fishing the jig. So, you know, you get out of this, what you put into it, right? You could just set a bait and forget it and do nothing. Or you could really stay on top of everything and try and lean the odds in your favor. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> try and horse them up. So the only thing I can do to try and get them away from the bottom as quickly as possible. Really giving it everything I have, putting way too much heat on this fish, but whatever it is, I just want to get it up and away from the bottom. Pro's Tip, proudly presented by Debro Fishing, innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. Guys, on this pro tip, I want to talk to you about gaffing. Don't be intimidated by gaffing. Couple of tips that'll keep you in the game. First, remember this is a dangerous item, right? It's a long stick with a sharp hook. So be real careful where you're swinging it around. Always keep that hook up high, swing it outside the boat. Have hook awareness, always down in the six o'clock position. And you always want to sweep in and up. You do not want to sweep out and up. That'd be a big mistake. It'd be pushing the fish away from the boat. So always go above the fish and in. Obviously go for that head shot, okay? Um, but if you can't get the head shot, go for any shot because it might be the only one that you get. So in this case, this big AJ, he's going to turn into fish dip for a lot of happy families. We're going to reach out, boom, right in the head. We took our time. Now at this stage, I want to just carefully lift vertically, hand over hand. I don't want to swing the gaff out. The fish will come right off the hook, right off the gaff. So I'm slowly going to lift it up, take a look around, make sure that the deck is cleared. We'll come back here, that no one is in the way. Again, be, be conscious of what you're doing. One, two, three, in the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Big at boy. this stage, we want to get that gaff hook out, okay, safely. So we just pop it out, and you can see the lines wrapped around. Just take your time, unwrap that line. Don't swing that gaff hook in the boat. Lift up vertically outside the boat. Outside, swing it, back in a rod holder, game over. Look at it, way up, up on top there. Is that him I just saw? Is that a cove? That's a cobia. Big cobia, big cobia. Nice cove, that's a keeper. Dude, that's a really nice cove. Yeah, grab a gap for me. Here's your shot. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Get him, get him, get him. Got him. Oh, all right, hold him, hold him, hold I got him, him, hold him. I got him. 
Up in the boat. Up in the boat. Ready? Be One, two, three. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Wow. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's heavy, dude. He's every bit of 30. Oh, yeah. He's heavy. Real, real heavy. Look how thick he is. Look at that head. That's a big cobia. Oh. Woo. Yes. If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun is how you make new friends and stay close to old ones, <laughs> if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV Boats lead the way. Are you ready for a world-class adventure? Fishing up to 150 miles offshore and always on the hunt for untouched fisheries, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Caps is Florida's premier long-range headboat. Fish around the clock for trophy snapper, grouper, tilefish, tuna, and more. With all the comforts of home and plenty of elbow room, Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew will put you or your entire charter on a hot bike fishing the famed halfway ledge. Pulley Ridge and beyond. Rated number one in service, Yankee Cap sales from Key West year-round. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Spool Tech, Hyperlastic, Engage, and Ocean Born Lures. Stay connected with the next generation of innovative and effective soft and hard baits for every venue. Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti-glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs R Us, a massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at JigsRUs.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. Oh, I can't see how, all I know is it's a big, big, strong fish. <laughs> For sure, it's a bit, oh yeah, oh, so big silvery thing. Big jack or, I don't know, but either Hard way, what an so epic far. battle. Oh. You can see I've got my thumb on the spool, this way I can apply a little bit more pressure whenever I need to. Oh yeah, nice African pompano, nice African pompano on the, the jig, yep, yep, just grab a gaff. Oh, what a beautiful fish on a jig, look at that, look at that. All right, I got this. You, you got grab him. that fish. You got him. Got him. What an absolute stud! Oh, oh yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, I think oh, mine got God. sharked. Oh. Yeah, mine got sharked. Did it? Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, oh man. That right there, baby. Beautiful. That's what fish. it's all about. Look at the eye. Right? I know, right? Look at that right there. The colors on him, I mean, he's just swimming around down there. That mouth, big, big eyes, picking off anything. He saw that jig, thought it was a wounded ballyhoo. Mm. Was all over it. Lights out, baby, <laughs> lights out. There you go. Nice. You know, these spots, these wrecks, I, I've said it so many times, and I'll say it again, I'll drill it into your head, how important it is that you Spend the necessary time to come out here and find these spots. Nobody's gonna hand them to you on a silver platter. I assure you, at the end of this episode, you're not gonna get a list of GPS numbers. <laughs> I like you, but I don't like you that much. So important, you know, knowing drag settings, and I don't set it with a scale. A lot of guys will use a scale. I do it by hand, by feel, because it's adjustable, right? There's sometimes you're gonna need to go a little more heat on a fish, and there's sometimes you're gonna wanna back off. And if you do it by scale, once you make that adjustment, what are you gonna do, whip out a scale every time to set it again? So you really have to understand your tackle, have an intimate relationship with your tackle. Oh, All right, there's my lead. You see the lead? There's my lead, and we should be oh. able to see the fish soon. Yep. Nice and easy. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, don't snap it, just nice and easy. Okay, you're okay. clear. Grab a gaff. Not the gaff ready. There you go. Smoked fish dip. Whew. Dude, this is a monster is that a beast? fish. Is that a beast? Look at that. Dude, look oh at this my thing. God, dude. Look, at that thing. look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh. You got wow. that hook right in the corner of his what, mouth. All I know is I'm glad I didn't hook that thing on my jig rod. Oh my God. Look at this thing. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Yep. How heavy you think that oh thing is? Oh my God. Hold on. Ready? <laughs> 
over 40. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. That's him, that's him. I got your jigging rod, I got your jigging rod. Easy, 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 easy. Now we're way Ooh. off this spot, you know, which is good. Again, it just goes to show you that you don't need to be right on top of the structure. You don't want to be. These muttons, they'll swim, you know, I'm, again, I don't know if it's a mutton, it looks like it, but they'll swim around the perimeter, you know, around that sand. What an awesome day, you know, we bounced around to a lot of wrecks. Caught some decent fish. Caught some really nice fish. Oh, no. Really nice fish, highlighted by a big, big 40-pound cobia. Some other quality fish, beautiful African pompano. Nice mixed bag today. Okay, there there's a fish. The mutton. It's a mutton. Big mutton. It's a big nice mutton. mutton. Okay. Woo, baby, okay. get on him. The hook is like right gap. in the corner. Hold him in the water. Okay, and oh, oh. you want the net? There. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got him. Got him. Woo! Ready? Ready? Yeah. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, brother. Nice. All right. All right. Let's get him back fatty, here. Fatty, fatty. Fat fish right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at his scales are all popping off from the pressure change. Yep. What a yep. slob. What That's a, a super fish. slob right there. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Wreck fishing down here off a of marathon with my brother. I'll tell you what, couldn't have been a more exciting day. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but we closed the deal. Oh, look at that. that oh my God, came right, right out. out, dude. That's why it's so important to keep that line tight. Yep. Close yep. the deal. Beautiful. Yeah, fat fish. one. Fat one. <laughs>